Casey Kane now comes back down on all four. Caution is out. Oh, you can see that. Coming at you, bud. Just hold on here. That is a tough break because that car, as you mentioned, was good tonight. Man, that's too bad. Yeah, but you know, it, as good as they are, you, you know, you sometimes it, it gets frustrating as a there. driver when you have that good a car and there's nowhere to go, but you just have to try to be as patient as you possibly can be. So there's right here, Justin Allgaier is really struggling. Trevor Bain got to the inside of him, forced him to the right side a little bit, and Casey King was already there. Damage also to the right side of the 12 there, as you can see. Don't know how severe that is right now, but... Casey's night is done. That's good to see he's okay. Here goes Kyle Busch. See if he can make that work down on the inside. He's trying to make this pass. And I think it's going to happen. Oh! oh, man. Up across the racetrack and contact with the 07 car. Reed Sorensen gets a piece. That's Jason White. Oh, my good. Wow. And a hard lick right there. That's your points leader, folks, here for the NASCAR Nationwide Series, and he could be done for the night. Really don't know what the 07 was doing right there. I mean, I think he eventually was trying to get out of the way, but obviously put himself right in harm's way. Yeah, Chase Austin up across the... There he is up in turn four. Now pulling down across the racetrack, DJ. Oh, just a terrible mistake. So broke either a left rear hub or axle on his number 40 going into turn number three and the car takes off and it pounds the safer barrier right here. I mean, you can see the whole left rear hub, wheel, tire, everything came off that car. Look how high up in the air it was. It, 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 again, Larry, it's just one of those things. This racetrack will, it will absolutely, you can see right in there as he goes down the hill uh, that it just broke that whole end of the housing off, hub and all. Now he's fine. He told the spotter on the radio he's okay. That is the hardest hit I've seen at this racetrack since your brother hit the crossover gate. Sideways, oh. there's some contact. Calling oh. the 0-5, John West Townley into the wall twice. And caution is out for the fourth time on lap 145. They look like they just couldn't get away from each other. These guys have been battling side by side. Look, Townley tries to enter high, gets sideways there, and that begins it. Brendan Newberry able to sneak by on the outside. Brandon Jones and Justin Boston were just in the wrong place at the wrong time at Bristol. You can see Newberry si all, all mm. out of shape, but still hangs on to his truck. Yeah. Watch the 33, and he's going to try to get by oh. on the inside, and John West Townley is there. And he gets hit on the inside as well. Both sides of that 33 truck pretty well used up. Drivers are using all of the concrete out there tonight. Trouble down the front, Danica Patrick. That's unfortunate. Oh, she's done a great job for 434 laps here tonight. So far, how bad is it? It's done. And number 13 is unlucky for Danica Patrick. She was running to the pitch, please. 19th. Well, go. Gonna be a little contact here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's real unfortunate because she did have a an incredible race going to be on the lead lap at 435 lap. Loose right there and almost makes hits it outside wall. He has to check up. Jimmy Johnson has no idea. He can't see the 42. And as the 47 of Stenhouse checks up, Jimmy Johnson runs into the left rear and spins him around. Ooh. Cole Custer, Boy. Kurt Busch, Tyler Reddick. Nowhere to go and little time to react. Not right. And here goes Rich Bickle in the diehard truck right past him. So you're right. Again, Bliss starting to go backwards. Taking a look at Michael Docanero in contact. Mike Bliss goes to the wall. Hard impact after he made contact and Bob Keselowski comes through with nowhere to go and slams in to the left front of Mike Bliss.
terrible, terrible break for Bob Keselowski and then also Mike Bliss. Looked like uh, the 18. Mike Bliss's truck's on fire. Seems like every, every time we've had an accident, there's, there's been a fire truck. Here we go again. Here's Michael Dockin in the 18 truck on the inside. He's trying to follow Rich Bickle by, and look, he's right on the bottom of the racetrack. Mike Bliss comes down, dis, didn't know he was there, and around he goes into the wall. Then the trouble starts. A nice job by Brian Refner to miss him. Here's another angle. So you see, you see Michael Dockin, he's already up to his rear tire, almost up to his door. Backs out of the throttle. Mike comes down. Just doesn't give him quite enough room. The Dana-sponsored number 18 of Michael Dockin got away from the trouble, though. But as Mike Bliss sat in the middle of the racetrack, here comes Bob Keselowski in a pack of three trucks. Nowhere to go. Gets pushed in there a little bit by Stacy Compton in the Valvoline truck. And a lot of damage on the Mopar Performance Dodge, the number 29 of Keselowski. Two, Michael Waltrip's car begins to slip and slide on the outside. And contacts the concrete wall nearly head-on the car is sawed in half by that concrete barrier there one of the most spectacular and violent crashes i have ever seen that jerry jerry i've been involved in auto racing for more than 30 years and i don't remember ever seeing a car torn up this much the safety crews had run over to the car likewise older brother daryl walter was there let's check with Teddy parsons i think about the tracks oh trouble oh good grief. chase elliott oh no michael mcdowell Oh, oh true is the last second. Trials in. And gosh, that was ugly. Well, right there, guys, take a look at it. Well, it was. Truex, he just could not get stuck. This track, particularly early in the race, everybody Ooh, bunched just up. Just gets loose underneath the 19 of Suarez, comes around and collects Chase Elliott and some others. Boy, look at the great job Eric Jones and William Byron did squeezing by. And Martin Truex just can't get stopped. I don't think that. Mike, I was just going to say that 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 traction compound, it's a little slick right now. You got to get a little heat in it. I noticed when I was driving the pace car, it's still a little sticky, but it's slick until you get a little heat in it. And I think 78 of Truex. Car back, the Valvoline car is the leader. Oh, yeah. and Jimmy Johnson gets turned right in the front of Mark Martin. John Andreas in the crash. Gordon just got bumped. Go, Jeff go, Gordon go, just got, I don't know how much damage. Uh, Robbie Gordon just... Look at, this. Back of, uh, Look at this. Robbie's getting into everybody tonight. Uh, okay. Uh, Jimmy Johnson got the worst end of that, obviously. Uh, yep. And caution number 14. As the pace car picks up the field once again. Well, Johnny Benson is the leader. Now, here, here we go on the restart. And I, I mean, Robbie basically just pulls Jimmy Johnson's rear wheels off. I mean, there was a lead up to that. And like I said, we don't know what caused it to begin with. Yeah, that, that couldn't have been the first chapter. That no, story. I mean, obviously, those two guys were upset with each other for another reason, so we don't know all the facts. But... NASCAR. You get the word, Alan? Yeah, they're going to put the 31 number up on that little board on the starter stand. That means you're the one getting the black flag. The penalty box door is open here at Bristol, and Robbie Gordon is going to be taking a seat for a couple of laps. Jamie Dick, 55, was in the middle of that group that we were pointing at, and Nelson P.K. Jr. So the 30 just drove in there and killed the rest of it. The second one of these hard licks we've seen this weekend. We saw the five car in practice hit really hard. Almost kind of the same way. Well, we talked about how fast things happen here and visibility and so on. And as a driver, you really have, once that caution, you hear it's out. You've got to slow out, down, bro. get yourself get slowed out. down. And what happens in these situations is you see them get up on it and then try to slam on the brakes, and then you can't steer the car. That had lap cars in the middle of it. That was the group where this happened. You might have got a little help from Brian Vickers. Is that who that was in the 20? Yep. And then.
wall and the momentum just carries him right back up and there goes Kyle, who I'm sure was hustling trying to get clear of that. Those two cars just get together and it's, it's the loosest part of the racetrack. It's a hard lick on the inside then, wall. Man. I'm sure Kyle was all drawn up knowing that here comes Ward. Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Ah. Watch this lick right here though, Kyle Petty on that outside wall. That's a hard lick. Yeah. Now, I want to give a call to our cameraman. When you have accidents that start out with one hit, you follow the first crash, then the next crash, then the next crash. Those fellows are carrying the bills for us today. It's all happening in a hurry. Yep. And they're all multiple incidents. today where I think these drivers, spotters, everybody figures the car is going to go down the racetrack, but it's going up, and a lot of people's getting in trouble by trying to go around them on the high side. Oh, Jimmy Johnson just turned Jeff Burton. They both go around. Turn one, Burton in the wall, Johnson spinning to the bottom. And Harvick spins into David Reagan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. I think Jimmy was just trying to make a pass here. He got down underneath of him. Jeb, uh, yeah. I think Jimmy's a little frustrated with his car and that accident, and he wasn't running like he had been. He had a shot at winning this thing, got that taken away, and uh, poor old Jeb Burton. By the way, has been in a lot of situations, precarious situations tonight. Just and look, bam. nowhere for Harvick to go. My David Reagan goodness. is sitting right in the middle of the racetrack. Here's the start of it. It carries down toward turn one. David Reagan all piled up, and I'm curious to see how Kevin Harvick unable to get around as the other's leaders did. They go three wide. Chris Busher goes to the outside. 51 kind of uh, caught in the middle. And, yeah, Bain yep. just didn't know Busher was on the outside. Yep. Ooh. Blaney just Ooh. know where to go as Rhodes slides up the racetrack. And Keselowski did a, a masterful job, but since he's in the middle of it, what a shame. Yep. What a shame. Ryan Blaney had the lead for nine. Ryan Vickers. Vickers is a part of this involved. Yep. So my apologies to Almirola. He wasn't involved in that. But this is what we're kind of starting to expect here late. And Jimmy Johnson comes in, nowhere to go. Almirola wasn't involved in starting it, but he got a piece of it. And they obviously got the radiator on that 48. Yeah. Hmm. Another one. Caution is out. A chain reaction accident down the back straightaway into turn number three. Eric Almirola, Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer. Brian Vickers, the drivers involved, Almirola clearly getting the worst of the damage. Just people trying to, to go as fast as they possibly could. You see they're basically three wide there. I don't think Brian Vickers had any idea that the 42 was up on the outside of him. You can see Boyer running the back of Kyle Busch. She tried to slow down. He slams into the 43, back into the 15. My goodness. You can see it all kind of bottled up right here behind Michael Lynette. Vickers just cut Larson off a little bit, and that just started the whole thing. So two separate incidents that combine. 55-43 have contact in the jam-up. Clint Boyer hits Kyle Busch, and then they all come together, and there's more contact. 